Hey everyone, Tom here. Coming to today with another exciting flow that we can work on today. And so in previous videos, we've talked about things like summing up deal amounts, but another really, really common case, one that we use all the time and we really like is counting member records, basically related list records. So a really simple example would be okay. If I look at a contact, I want to know how many deals, or if I'm looking at an account, how many contacts are under that account. And actually that latter one is exactly what we're going to look at today. So I'm going to make my myself a little bit smaller here and, and get into it. So I have a bunch of my test clients here. And when I look at it, I can see some of them accounts, some of them don't, that sort of thing. But you know, for this use case, I'm really, really interested in the test company. And what I want to figure out is actually how many contacts I have under this account and you know at this level I could you know count very quickly but if you have thousands and thousands of clients you know this gets very difficult you know so I want to be able to do that also if I go over to here I could see it right I can see kind of my clients quickly at the top I could see all my clients down here but this is just kind of at a high level what if I wanted to kind of run reports or filters or workflows on the number of contacts under a certain company well I need a field to do that and so that's really what we're going to talk about here. And so in this case here, you can see it. I've actually created this field already. So that's going to be a prerequisite. And that's pretty straightforward. It's just a number field, something you can create in the customization tab in your account. And then once you have this number of contacts field in your CRM, then you're going to want to populate it, of course. And you don't want to do it manually. You don't have, want to have to do it each time. And, you know, until now, really the only kind of way to do that would be to write some custom function, have a developer come in, maintain it, do all that stuff, which is a lot of pain, a lot of headache. Uh, and so what we kind of are introducing and what we think is going to really kind of help a lot of people in this exact scenario is a very specific type of workflow. So I've set up this workflow here and I've done it on clients. So, you know, this is just kind of how to do it. But, you know, so if I want to add at my clients, I'm going to do a workflow on the clients. What I'm going to say is that on the trigger, uh, specifically when the account is modified, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about this here. This will make more sense in just a second. And we're going to do this for all of our clients, right? So I could maybe say, hey, if I wanted to understand how many test clients I have, I can maybe add some filters here. But for now, I'm just going to do all my clients. And so I've set this workflow up on my client module. So every time an account changes on any of my contacts, this is going to, to run. And what I want to happen and actually, so maybe what might be worthwhile is checking this box. So if I change it multiple times, for whatever reason, it'll recalculate. And then once I have that all set up, the real trick, I just went kind of quickly there, maybe I'll slow it down, is to use under your custom actions, is advanced field update. So this is really kind of the thing that's gonna save you just a ton of time with this. And so when you click this, this opens up, there's a ton of different data flows. There's four of them different, four of them here. So, you know, moving data from lookups to your current record, to related lists, to some of these different things. But the one we care a lot about for this case is the aggregate field lookup. Aggregate's just a term that means like some, or count or max or min. Those are all different types of aggregate. So that's what we're going to do up here. Another way people kind of call it is a roll up, right? Aggregate is kind of like a roll up. And so now I get to kind of define how my roll up looks. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, okay, what do I want to roll up into? So if I go back to my clients, you know, test tester here, for example, you could see, well, he has an account, right? So that's what we're doing right now. It could roll up into that. But we actually also have other lookups. We have things like a client referral. So for example, if I wanted to add up all of the contacts under this client referral, I would choose that. But what I'm doing is all of the contacts under this account name. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to say, okay, account name. And you saw the, the referral there. If you remember, I talked about aggregate, it's different types of roll up, sum, average, count, max, min, those are all of them here. We're going to deal with count. And then the last thing that we're basically going to do here is have any conditions. So again, this is another place where I could say, hey, only add a people if they have test in their name, for example. So if I go back here, if I wanted to, I could say, hey, only only for whatever reason, only do it if the last name contains test, something like that. So you could put that in. I'm actually going to delete that, but that's kind of the idea of it. So you can kind of choose which types of contacts you're actually going to count. That's the idea. So I'll just remove that. And then the final thing, this is why it was so important at the beginning to put that new field in, because once we add all that stuff up, where's it going to go? Number of contacts. So that looks pretty good. We're going to hit save. I'm going to name it. So I'm going to say uh, account contacts under account looks good and we'll hit save 
And so now it's hanging out here. This is a live workflow, so that's good. So let's go back to my clients here. And if remember, we wanna trigger this workflow and to do that, I need to change the account name. That was the trigger. So I'm looking here, new person, Mr. Form Tester. He actually doesn't have an account name yet. So I'm gonna put in that test company that we had before, test company, perfect. And so that's the first step. Now it's triggered. Now it's gonna go through that workflow and at the very end, kind of do that roll up, that aggregate, that count as we defined it. And just to be certain, we're gonna check and yep, sure enough, that advanced field update, the count context under count did run. So now really kind of the moment of truth, I can come now over into the test company. Let's do a refresh and see what happened. Great, so three. So again, some of you might be saying, oh, I thought it was two earlier. But if you remember, we just added this new person. So now instead of two, we have three. So we have three people here, three people there, but kind of the whole point of this is now that three automatically shows up there. And so again, you know, maybe you have a workflow that every time someone hits three contacts under account, you know, this is, becomes a special account, a high priority account. Things like that can now be done, reports, workflows, whatever it is, because now this number of contacts is in this field. So that's that's really kind of it. That's the example of a roll up function. Really, really powerful. If you are interested in all of getting started with this, trying this out, where you can go is <clears throat> check out this tool. It's called the Workflow Enhancement Suite, WES for short. It has all the stuff that you need to do something like this uh, and actually a lot of other stuff. Remember those other flows? We kind of go through all the different things, how to get started, nice video on how to get started, how to install it. Um, some reviews from top clients, and we have a 10-day free trial. So all that's there. Uh, please feel free to try it out. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. Thanks so much for watching.